Hi, everybody. This is Jeff Kelly from Wikibon.org. We're back here live at the HP Vertica Big Data Conference in Boston. Uh, my colleagues, uh, Dave Vellante and John Furrier, are uh, off doing some uh, panel discussions right now. I'm your host for this segment, and we're going to talk about uh, some, a really interesting topic, the kind of the, the uh, relationship uh, between uh, HP, which, of course, is putting a lot of uh, effort and uh, money into their uh, big data strategy, and a key partner of theirs, Cloudera, uh, and how Hadoop is playing uh, an important role in their uh, big data platform known as Haven. Of course, Hadoop is uh, the H in Haven. So uh, we're welcoming uh, Tom Pickney, Director of Global Partner Sales at Cloudera. Welcome to theCUBE, your first time, and I uh, appreciate you coming on. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. And uh, from HP, we've got Steve Tremack, uh, Director of Big Data Systems Engineering, uh, Converge Appliance Systems and Solutions, Converge Systems. That's a mouthful, but it's an important, important <laughs> role. So, uh, Thanks, Jeff. Great to be here. Yeah, Steve, thank you so much for coming on. Um, so guys, yeah, why don't we start, Steve, with you. Tell us a little bit about uh, kind of your role uh, at HP, and then we kind of go into the, uh, the relationship a little bit. Sure, so uh, I, I'm part of, uh, as, as you mentioned, a, a new business unit in HP called Converge Systems. Uh, this yeah. is uh, a, a business unit focused on building appliances and reference architectures, uh, specifically around our converged infrastructure, uh, focused and purpose-built around workloads. So clearly a lot, of, uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of energy here around Haven uh, as the big data core platform for HP and uh, uh, my specific team is responsible for building appliances uh, around the, the Haven stack. So uh, we uh, today have solutions, have an, a building block solution for Vertica, and we also have an appliance that uh, uh, we deliver to market uh, jointly with, um, with our partner Cloudera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we spoke with um, uh, Paul Miller uh, in the past about uh, kind of the strategy around and the thoughts around this, but why don't you kind of in your own words, what is really the, um, the value proposition when it comes to you know, the app system for Hadoop and, and kind of packaging that in that appliance format versus uh, some of the other ways you can deploy Hadoop? Yeah, so uh, when someone deploys uh, a, a complex set of infrastructure, servers, storage, networking, software stack for multiple vendors, right? They, they, it, it, there are a few different ways they can approach it. Typically, an organization will take that on themselves, so they work with a partner and, and try to build something custom for their environment, right? And, and, and for that, we have products. We, we've got our converged infrastructure products that allow them to do that. Um, and that, that is, uh, the, the success rate of that is, is directly dependent upon you know, the, the skill set of the organization, of the consultant, and, and how well they've identified their needs. Well, in doing that, uh, the engineers in our organization are, are focused on solutions. We have um, uh, developed best practices. We understand how workloads like Hadoop like Vertica uh, respond and, 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 uh, and the need specifically for balancing hardware and software and tuning and configuration. So from that, we built reference architectures. I think about like a, you know, a, a, a map that you might get from, from Avis, right? You, you get this map and it tells you how to get to the city, but it, to get to the street address is kind of tough, right? It, it, it gets you in the right neighborhood and a reference architecture uh, documents some of those best practices. Well, what we're doing now with, with our appliances called App Systems, it's more like a GPS. It gets you right to the door, it, and, and it, it takes the complexity out of uh, building the infrastructure underneath. So what we do is we take uh, some specific uh, optimized servers uh, and storage and networking. We pre-install Red Hat and the Cloudera distribution of Hadoop. Uh, we work with the customers to gather their intent so we, we configure it in the factory and it ships racked and stacked and pre-installed. Uh, delivered to the customer site either through one of our partners or through HP. Uh, and the, the, the experience, the goal is that on day one, the, the environment is live in the customer network. Mm -hmm. so. so Tom, tell us a little bit about from Cloudera's perspective, um, what does the HP relationship and, and the role, uh, the, you know, HP's expertise in the kind of packaging the infrastructure, how does that um, align with what Cloudera is trying to do and, and your customer base? Sure. Well, <clears throat> obviously HP uh, market leadership in the x86 server market. Uh, so they've got a lot of expertise there um, and know that platform very, very well. So we're obviously not experts in, in hardware. And so it's great collaboration with HP uh, to understand those platforms in, in great, great detail. Uh, both on the DL380 as well as the SL4540, uh, which they came out with the reference architecture uh, earlier this year. Um, so, you know, it's great to be able to walk into an account uh, and have both that infrastructure expertise 
as well as the Cloudera Hadoop expertise uh, with those customers. And then obviously going in with HP, uh, it's a tremendous partner, uh, fantastic relationships uh, within accounts and you know, tremendous trust uh, and kind of uh, long standing uh, partnerships with major customers for now adopting Cloudera. Mm -hmm. And well, and certainly in the Hadoop environment, uh, well I'd like to get both your opinions on this, but it, you know, in the Hadoop environment, uh, certainly the partnership um, success of anybody in that, in that market is, is critical. Um, there's a, it's, a, it's a vibrant ecosystem, there's a lot of different players. Um, maybe just taking a step back, how does Cloudera kind of look at their partnering strategy? Um, and again, I mean, in, and how that aligns with what HP's doing and why that's such a good fit. Sure, well, you know, I think that customers want solutions. Um, mm. So they're not buying pieces parts. And when you look at, uh, people are not trying to uh, deploy Hadoop, they're not trying to deploy big data, they're trying to solve business problems. Uh, and when you try and solve those problems, not only do you have uh, Cloudera as the Hadoop distribution, not only do you have HP as the hardware uh, and infrastructure provider, there are a lot of other things that you need to provide. And so, you know, as Cloudera, our ability to bring forward certified partners, we've got over 700 partners, so our ability to have that ecosystem to, be, to really provide solutions uh, to solve those business problems, I think that's really powerful, uh, really powerful for customers, because that's really what they're looking for. Right, and Steve, from your perspective, I mean, we heard uh, in both keynotes yesterday from Colin uh, Mahoney, uh, VP and GM of, of right. Vertica, and uh, of course, George Kadifa, who's running software for HP, mentioned that, you know, despite HP's size, the biggest technology company in the world, for them to really, for HP to really leverage and take advantage of the big data opportunity, they need to partner uh, with outside, outside uh, companies. So talk a little bit about, uh, from your perspective, um, how that, how you kind of go, go about looking at uh, partnerships and, you know, specifically Cloudera, but, but even in more generally, um, kind of what's your strategy? Yeah, and I think it comes back to Haven, right? The, the, the Haven strategy is built on uh, open source Hadoop, is built on, on standards, that's a, a critical part. We have an open partnering strategy and, and uh, have reference architectures today with a number of distributions um, around Hadoop. And, and, and the, the N of Haven really is, is, that's N number of solutions, right? So it's a, a critical as we're providing uh, a, a foundation uh, for for ingesting and uh, analyzing and um, you know, and garnering the value out of out of multiple sources of big data. It's also critical that to complete the solutions for different industry segments or different customers, uh, that we work with with best of breed partners and 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 we provide a, a platform and a foundation uh, to enable that um, for for our customers. So. Um, you know, we we have we have a, a strategy of open partnership, and specifically with Cloudera, we have uh, we've gone even a step further with a reseller agreement. So that we're able uh, to provide the the Cloudera bits and licensing as part of the the solution we deliver to the customers. So not only are we bringing together best of breed partnerships uh, as part of the the Haven ecosystem, but we're also able to deliver that easily to customers to take some of the the complexity and the risk out. Uh, the fact that we're able to work together to, to implement the best practices around configuring and deploying this and roll that in and codify it, if you will, into the, the app system uh, helps our customers uh, be more successful mm -hmm. uh, when they're, they're jumping into this space. So really lowering the uh, barriers to entry and also you right. know, taking away, kind of de-risking the investment in, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about customers and uh, any trends you might be seeing in terms of adoption and use cases because of course uh, Hadoop is still a relatively young technology, it's evolving quickly. Um, you know, we hear about uh, different types of use cases in the enterprise. I'm curious, Tom, from your perspective, what are you seeing in terms of your, uh, you know, when you're going into new accounts these days, what are some of the, um, some of the use cases and some of the, some of the challenges or business problems you're seeing customers that they want to solve using Cloudera and Hadoop? Sure, yeah, you know, it's interesting because I think if we were here 12 months ago or 18 months ago, we'd be talking more about advanced analytics, we'd be talking more about kind of web properties, uh, we'd be talking about more kind of early adopters. And now I think we're really seeing enterprises trying to understand how to adopt Cloudera and how to adopt Hadoop. Um, and so I think you know to that end, the Haven announcement is, is very powerful because it's HP helping organizations to figure out how to adopt this technology. Um, and to that end as well, I think you know the app system is very powerful because it it minimizes some of the kind of moving parts that customers need to understand as they adopt this. Uh, you know, specifically as we go into accounts, you know, rather than that kind of advanced analytics that you would have seen 
12 or 18 months ago. We're really seeing a, a couple of really kind of basic operational efficiency kind of use cases. Uh, we see that organizations are looking at data transformations they're doing, uh, either on their ETL grid uh, or transformations that they're doing in their data warehouse. Um, and typically they've got a couple which are, which are quite expensive. Uh, and Cloudera is, is an optimal platform to be able to offload those, uh, to free up capacity uh, in their ETL grid uh, and within their data warehouse uh, for transformations. Uh, you know, kind of the second thing that we see is organizations have got uh, additional detail that they want to keep uh, in their data warehouse, um, and so that could be you know, detailed records in out years, uh, which is very expensive, but there is a business analyst somewhere uh, who wants to run reports against them mm -hmm. uh, at some point. Um, so you, know, you can put, keep them in a uh, sort of high-priced, uh, high-cost per terabyte uh, data warehouse platform, or you've got the option of, of writing them off to storage. And so uh, Cloudera provides a, 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 a excellent kind of balance between those, uh, you know, dramatically lower cost uh, for that, 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 that class of storage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing, you know, we're seeing the same things about members of the Wikibon community talking to us about some of the use cases. And certainly it's, uh, Hadoop is definitely disrupting the traditional enterprise data warehouse market where you've got, uh, you know, often scale up infrastructure, you've got proprietary hardware, you've got a very expensive solutions and people are looking to not remove those, but to kind of use Hadoop to, to really make better use of that investment uh, and offload some of that work and lower some of those costs. Yeah, by all means, Def definitely a compliment. Yeah, and Steve, and, and, what are you saying? I think that, uh, in, in looking at some of those different use cases, and uh, one thing that's pretty exciting um, are some of the, the advancements on the, the converged infrastructure and the hardware front, uh, particularly, uh, yeah, a couple of examples are our SL4500 series platform. Uh, it provides in a, a 4.3U space, uh, it, it gives you options for a single compute platform with 60 spindles. Uh, it gives you options for two compute platforms, each with 25 or three with 15. So if you think about what we have now, are very we have different configuration options that, that might fit some of the different use case models around being a, you know, a true archival or, or data lake type of approach uh, where, where just density of, of storage is, is the critical element. We have different, different options that I think marry up with the technology. The other technology is Moonshot mm. and looking at as, as big data continues to scale and some of the, the, in the keynote they talked about just the moving forward with how quickly machine and, and human data is scaling uh, in the future, the, 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 the amount of space and power necessary to store that is astronomical. Well, something like Moonshot starts to change that, that dynamic around uh, uh, compute and, and power uh, density and savings. So it's, it's a pretty exciting time. We're seeing a lot of a marriage of technologies here that are going to, I think, fuel this next the next phase of this growth. So uh, I'm curious, so from customers, what are you hearing in terms of, uh, are you similar, similar to what very, Tom was saying, some of those use cases? Uh, very, what's very, the trend you're saying? Very similar, and I think that's where, where, where Haven really comes into play, mm -hmm. is, is that, that the, 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 the marriage of, of, of starting to look at uh, uh, you know, the, the, the blending and movement of data, for example, from, from uh, Hadoop and HDFS into, into Vertica for the speed of analytics and, and uh, the, 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 some of the blending of technologies, and the, the being able to, to to mine data out with with things like like autonomy, it's it's um, uh, we're, we're seeing a maturation of of, mm. of the technology and and the the market and, and broader use cases. So certainly broader use cases. And what are some of the uh, I guess you know one of the issues we're we're looking to to explore at Wikibon is is really teasing out some of the real key characteristics of a enterprise level big data platform. I mean, for you from your perspective, from what you're seeing. Uh, you know, what are some of those key areas? Is it, is it security? Is it some of the hardware efficiency that we've been talking about? What are some of the keys to you? Yeah, I think that the, 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 the key is certainly as, as we, we look at um, uh, security, particularly uh, the, the uh, discussion this morning around uh, uh, ArcSight and, and some of the, the um, you know, as, as we, we continue to, 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 to leverage more and more of this data in the organization, it, the, 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 the trend for uh, uh, vulnerabilities that uh, continues to grow. So secu security is a key part of that, uh, and also finding a way to efficiently scale uh, the you know, scale as the data needs grow within an organization. Uh, scaling, you know, uh, we're we're hearing you know uh, petabytes now being thrown away that that gigabytes and megabytes were thrown thrown around just a few years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So so being able to uh, effectively scale 
uh, and balance out compute and, and, mm. and uh, capacity with power needs and space needs in a data center are, are the things that, uh, and, and being able to manage those large environments are, are key things that HP is, is looking at. Um, and, and so, Tom, in terms of, you know, from Cloudera's perspective, we know, you know, Cloudera certainly has been, uh, is not, uh, you know, slowing down at all in terms of development of some of the, some of the products and the new solutions you're, you're uh, releasing. We've got Sentry focused around security, Cloudera Search earlier this summer, uh, really enabling, uh, from the Cloudera Search perspective and Apollo, just new ways to basically interact with the data that's in HDFS. So, um, you know, as you look forward, uh, how does that make your job easier as, as, the, as you're in charge of you know, this relationship with HP, a critical relationship with Cloudera? Um, how does all the work that your engineering team is doing um, kind of make your job maybe a little bit easier and uh, it kind of improve that relationship? Well, you know, I think it goes back to the theme of the HP relationship is especially valuable as we go into the enterprise um, and going to sort of the, the traditional old school mainstream enterprise, which is really getting pushed now. Those guys are getting pushed to have a big data strategy and, you know, nine times out of 10, a big data strategy you know, is going to include a Hadoop strategy as sort of the, the corner tenant there. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think as Cloudera continues to develop its product uh, and address enterprise requirements such as security, such as uh, multiple access points uh, and ways to access that data, um, it just it becomes a more and more solid uh, data management infrastructure for the enterprise. And so it's just easier to go and sell to those CIOs of mainline kind of old school industries uh, when there is functionality uh, which, which is uh, kind of analogous to what they're used to mm -hmm. having. All right, great. Well, we look forward to uh, continued development between Cloudera and HP. Look forward to what you guys are going to bring to the table. Um, are we already doing some really exciting things. And uh, Steve, Tom, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Appreciate it. Uh, again, first time on theCUBE. We hope you come back. Uh, you're now a CUBE alumni, as we, call, as we like to call it. Excellent. So everybody, uh, please stay with us. We've got uh, a lot more coverage coming from uh, here in Boston at the HP Big Data uh, Vertica Conference. Uh, stay right there, we'll be right back. <laughs>